I've always been a disorganized person, and for most of my life, I never really had a system to write my thoughts down, to work on them. I didn't even have a calendar. Overall, I would just kind of keep everything inside my head. But in the past year, my life has changed a lot, and I had to very quickly figure out how to organize my projects and my life. So in that time, I turned to Notion. In this video, I'm going to show you literally everything I use Notion for in my day-to-day -day life and how I keep everything in my life organized. My methods have always centered around function over form, where I only made my setup as complicated as it needed to be and nothing more. Thanks to Notion for sponsoring this video. So to preface all of this, I never really used Notion as a software engineer, but if I were to go back to life as a software engineer, I would probably apply all of these methods to my job. So in general, there are three things I use Notion for. Time tracking, project tracking, and writing my videos. And I'll go over each from top to bottom. So first things first, how I track my projects. So in my six years in software, I've been in all kinds of different companies. And essentially, they all use some variation of a Kanban board, which is essentially a board with three sections, one for to do, one for in progress, and one for completed. Basically, I've mimicked almost the exact same thing in my own Notion setup. Basically, what I have here is my video home base, and it has all kinds of different sections for me to keep track of what state my projects are in. I'll go over all the sections step by step and how I use them. This first section is the not started section, which is basically where I toss in all ideas I have for projects and future projects. Over here, I have the in progress researching section, which is basically for projects that I am actively thinking about and working on. But for these, mostly what I'm trying to do is to keep them in my working memory on a day-to-day -day basis so I can add in different inspiration when I have them or just generally so I can have ideas and have it in my working memory from day to day. And next I have the in progress TTH slash writing section. So this is essentially my true in progress section where these are projects where I'm actively writing on every single day. And basically the point of this section is to track if I'm working on multiple projects in a row, just so I can bounce between projects and I'm not forgetting the exact thing I'm working on. And sometimes if I'm working on a project and I feel like there's not that much more to add, I drop it back into the researching section, just to have it sit in my working memory for longer before I continue to write. And just to reduce visual clutter in my brain and in my notion board. The next section is the in progress needs filming section. So this one is pretty straightforward. These are only for scripts that I am completely done writing that I need to film. So what I do is I like to batch film videos. And when you're batch filming, you don't want to forget which scripts are done and you don't want to keep them in your working memory all the time. So this is essentially my soft done section for the script writing. The next is the in progress waiting for editing section. So this section is not used that often, but it's best for me to keep things just in my memory in the case that I'm working on a lot of different projects that are going to be scheduled to go out on different dates. Generally, as soon as I'm done filming any type of project, I move it straight into this column just so I know what stage of the process it's in and I don't forget where all the files are. And the next is the in progress editing section. So this was useful for me because sometimes I can edit multiple projects in parallel. Sometimes I can give projects to other people to edit. And this just helps me keep track of mentally where things are in the process. So again, that I don't lose things. It is pretty weird. I have four in progress sections, but this is the way it works for me and my brain. And now I have the done but not uploaded section. This is also a pretty rarely used section, but it's generally when I have videos that are stacked up in queue that aren't really ready to be released, but I want to make sure I remember them so that I can keep track of them for when I do want to release them. And finally, I have the done section, which is basically just a dumping ground for all the different projects I've worked on. So now that you've seen how I track my projects, I'm going to show you how I do research for each project. So whenever I get an idea, whenever I have something in the world that I see or want to make a video about, I usually throw it into a quick Apple note. So Apple notes has been a very easy way for me to just get thoughts out of my brain as fast as possible because I can just open up the notes app in my phone pretty much instantly and just write things down and get back to my day. It's just been the quickest thing for me. So let's just say I'm going about my day and I decide in my head like, oh, I want to make a video about Notion. I'll first write it down in Apple Notes and then I'll just leave it there and come back to it whenever. And then generally, maybe once a day or maybe once every couple of days, I'll take all of my notes that I've aggregated just full of thoughts or links or anything I've read over the past few days and throw it all into the researching section for Notion. Let me show you how I do that. So over here, you can see how I have my brainstorm. I have a Reddit link for something that I thought might be interesting to talk about. And I have my Notion video. Let's take a look at this Reddit post that I saw. So this post is about the software job market potentially turning around in 2024. So I'll read through it. I'll see some comments that I think might be interesting to respond to. And then I'll go into Notion. I'll create a new card, add some context, and drop the Reddit link that I was looking at in here. And maybe some notes about things that I thought were interesting. And here, once I've dumped my research and just like all the things I've thought about while writing this card, 
I can also tag this for future filtering. So for this video, it's probably more of a tech opinion, tech news, struggling to get job. And then basically what I'll do with this idea is I'll just let it sit here and kind of simmer in my head until I either come back to it or I realize that it was a great idea to write a video about. This way, whenever I have inspiration or ideas, it just never leaves my Notion home base. And I'm always able to just reference it later if I wanna write about it. So usually if the topic's interesting enough, I'll move it directly into my researching category, just so it's sitting in my working memory. And then I'll be thinking about it every single day before I start working on the project. So I've talked about how I track projects. I've talked about how I get inspiration and do my research and how I keep all of that in Notion. But how do I write my scripts and my projects? Basically, for every video, I have a card. And each card, I have a template for writing my videos. So basically, when I start working on a video, the first thing I do is think of a title. And I go through different iterations and make sure they're all under 55 characters. I'll put any research I have here or brainstorming or different ways I can word things. If I have ideas for thumbnails, I'll screenshot them and leave them here. So for example, if I see some inspiration off of my computer right now for a thumbnail like this, I'll just screenshot it, copy, and then paste it up here so that I can remember it later, something like that. But generally the meat of the video will be in the content section, obviously. And this is where I add like all my different thoughts, all my research, and I aggregate everything together. And usually for scripts, it's something that will take multiple days of simmering and thinking and working and, and massaging these scripts into a format that I like, into the wording that I like, and just adding more research as I find more and more day to day. So generally, these scripts can be worked on for a couple of days to a couple of weeks. This is where I can also use AI to help me draft up different titles or different ideas for my scripts. So in here, if I wanna write a hook for my video, I can use Notion AI to help me with that. Write me a hook about a YouTube video based on the concept, how to get a software job in 2024. Pretty interesting hook, but it's a good start. And then when I'm done working on it for the day, I leave it and I toss it into my in progress section. So the next section is how I track what I'm doing every single day. So ever since I started taking content creation more seriously, I've been very meticulous about how I track my time because I really want to be using every moment effectively. So there's different tools out there like Clockwise that you can use to track your activity, but none of them have worked as well as this system in Notion that I created for myself. If you take a look here, this is called my streaks calendar. Basically the idea here is I can see exactly how much I work every single day. So for me, generally, I work in Pomodoro cycles, which is 25 minutes of focus work and a five minute break. I've modified it over the years, but this is generally still how I do everything. And I count a 25 minute work session and a five minute break as one full cycle. So over on my calendar, I can record every single cycle I'm doing for every single day. And if we punch into a random day, we can see exactly what I was spending my time on during that day. Basically, my general goal is to hit 10 cycles for every single day and make sure I'm working on something. So you can see here, in every streak, I'm tagging what I was working on, what it relates to, what type of work it was, the details of what I did, and the project that it relates to, which will be important later. This whole process for me has been a game changer because it turns working into more of a gamified system where I can see exactly where the peaks and lulls of my productivity are and how they correspond to the rest of my life. But basically, this is the best way I found to keep myself accountable for my own work, where I can see the lulls in my attention and the times where I get burnt out. I can even see the times where I go on vacation or I'm at home or something like that. Overall, it just helps me stay much more focused in a world where I'm basically just doing my own thing every single day. And with the streaks, I mentioned the project linking being very important because the project linking actually helps me to track exactly how much every single project I work on takes. So let's take a look at one of my random videos, which is responding to Reddit's software hot takes. As you can see, this is another thing of function over form because there's a lot of things here that I haven't fully cleared out yet. But you can see here that I spent four cycles on video research four cycles on script writing and four cycles on editing. So this whole video took me 12 cycles and you can do the math on how long it took me to do that. There's also a little bit of time I left out here for filming, but this is generally how long it took for this project. And for me, this is great because one day if I want to pull statistics out of Notion or I want to just graph and track my productivity every single day, I can use Notion to do that for me. So one of the last things I use Notion for is as a reference database. So in life, I read a lot of articles, I browse Reddit a lot, I go through Twitter, I go through a lot of different sources and I capture a lot of information into my brain. And when I see things like charts, interesting tweets, interesting Reddit posts, I want to always be able to capture those visuals somewhere and use them in my scripts. So what I can do here is use a reference database. 
I'll show you that now. So as you can see, this is my reference database, which is basically a collection of articles about charts, sometimes memes, sometimes YouTube videos, sometimes TikToks, other stuff like that. Anything that I might find interesting to reference. Let's say I want to tag that one Reddit post I was referencing earlier about the software job market. I can say software job market post. I can drop in the Reddit link and I can tag it as Reddit. And for good measure, I can even add a thumbnail so I can remember what it looks like and I'll drop it in. And now as you can see in my mood board, basically, you can see the image of the post. You can see all my other charts and I come in here if I need references or I need data for videos. So basically all this is to help make sure that the research I do for my videos isn't completely wasted and is tracked for another time. And that way I can use my research for future videos or use it as jumping off points for researching different types of topics. And the best part about keeping the reference database is that I can tag everything in my actual script doc. Let's take a look at that right now. If we go back to my my software hot takes post from earlier. Let's say in the script, I'm writing something and I'm thinking of an image I want to insert as B-roll later while I'm editing. Well, I can just insert some text, highlight the text and link it back to the post I just created, software job market post. And now when it's time for editing, I can jump straight back into it in my reference database, which is a game changer for me. So Notion has been a life changer for my life in terms of keeping myself organized, keeping myself accountable, and just being able to focus all of these thoughts that I have on a day-to-day -day basis into one place. Let me know if this was useful for you or any ways that you use Notion to organize your own life. Thanks for watching.